Ever wonder what the difference is between CMYK and RGB? You're about to get a crash course in Color Theory 101. Hey there, my name is Katie. I am a graphic designer at Murphy Research, and today I'm here to school you on Color Theory 101. So when it comes to creating images on the computer, you're gonna be working in one of two color modes. There's RGB and CMYK. When it comes to RGB, that is an additive color method. So the way that that works is there's red, green, and blue, and when they're combined all three at once, it creates white. That is because there's light behind the screen when you're looking at it. So if you think about it, it's kind of like in a theater, if you have a green light, a blue light, and a red light shining at the star on the middle of the stage, the light is going to be viewed as white. So it's important to use RGB when you are gonna be creating anything that will be shared digitally. So that's social media assets, websites, digital infographics, anything that's gonna be primarily viewed on screen. So CMYK is going to be used for any kind of print material. So brochures, um, business cards, any kind of handouts, anything that you'll be holding physically. And the reason that you want to do that in CMYK is because you can think of it as layers. Each layer of the image is going to be layered on top of one another in those four colors. Um, and the way that the ink combines, it'll create a perfectly blended image. So, why is this all important? Well, if you accidentally print out something that you created in RGB mode, it's not gonna come out as bright and as vivid as you see it on the screen. It's gonna come out looking really dull and the colors aren't gonna match up and you're gonna get really frustrated. And the reason behind that is because the ink that gets printed on the paper can't possibly match up to the strong spectrum that a screen can produce. So, it's important that if you're gonna be creating things digitally, you're gonna stick with RGB, and if you're gonna be creating things that'll be printed, you're gonna stick with CMYK. So, are there any designers out there that have any tips when it comes to working in color modes? Comment below.